you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Hi, in this video, we are going to see about how to maintain multiple load runner scripts under one GitHub repository. I would like to thank Vishal and Manoj for asking this question. Now we shall see how to maintain your multiple load runner scripts with uh, GitHub. So by default, load runner creates multiple repository for each script. It has its own advantages. But if you want to maintain multiple scripts in one repository, you can do that as well. You don't need a view gen to create this uh, version control. All you need is uh, Git installed in your machine. And uh, if you want to work with uh, uh, the UI, uh, Git GUI or Git Bash or VS Code, anything would be fine to maintain the multiple versions under one uh, single repository. First, we will create uh, two scripts in ViewGen. Just launch ViewGen and I'm going to create a, a simple script. One is uh, let us name as uh, script underscore one and hit create. And here we can enter some comments. This is our uh, first script. And just save it. And now create another script. Same web HTTP HTML and we can name this as script underscore two okay now we have two scripts and uh, in script two we can say this is our second script now let us go to uh, github and create a repository let us uh, name this as multiple scripts multiple uh, load runner scripts demo and description is optional and let us create a, a readme also readme and create repository now what we can do is let us uh, clone this so to clone what i'm going to do is i'm going to use uh, vs code so here let us create a new terminal and I'm going to create a repository in this folder structure. So what we can do is we can create a directory, multiple scripts demo, and we will go inside the folder. And here, let us clone the repository. Okay, git clone the repository name and hit enter. So now this particular folder will have the git repository. You can go inside this. Okay, so this is our git. So now let us go inside the folder. And here what we can do is let us add the two scripts which we have created. So just go to the uh, view gen where uh, you have stored the scripts. So in this case, it should be in this folder structure. So just open this. And here just copy script two and script one to this folder. Okay. So now we have made changes to our local repository. We need to push these changes to the remote repository. For that, we need to use these commands git add dot which will add all the files and the git uh, stage and git commit with the message uh, two scripts okay now git push hyphen f we are forcing the changes to the repository and git uh, we can say uh, git push origin master
okay now everything is up to date now let us go back to the repository and uh, hit refresh okay now here you can see there are two folders script underscore one and uh, script underscore two so both are both are the uh, folders which we created and it is updated to the branch master now we have uh, made the changes we uploaded the changes to the uh, getup now i want to uh, check out this particular branch and make changes and then push it again so how do we do it using uh, you can use vugen so go to vugen and uh, close this solution okay now go to version control uh, git options import from remote repository and here we can just copy this and paste and uh, click on import so this will open the uh, folder here so here you can just open solution and uh, hit open and uh, open the script where you, which you want to make changes hit open and here you can see uh, my first change okay now if you go to version control uh, you, here you don't see it actually so you don't need vu gen to make changes so what you can do is you can come back to uh, your uh, visual studio code and also you can uh, open this folder in uh, vs code here just go to file open folder and go to terminal new terminal and uh, here you can uh, enter a uh, git status okay so here it says uh, branch is up to date with master and changes are not staged so here again we need to uh, make the changes git add and git stage git commit with the message uh, my first change and git push f okay now git status you can say uh, working tree clean and let us clear the screen and now go back to your uh, uh, github and hit refresh and here you can see the changes and if you go inside it you can see the uh, action.c so this is my first change so this is how you can uh, uh, maintain multiple uh, scripts in one single repository uh, and then you can integrate with your uh, Jenkins or TeamCity or any CI CD tool or you can automate stuffs. So you can do whatever you want. So, so basically you don't need Vugen to maintain the version. Uh, you can use the uh, Git Bash or Git GUI, uh, Source Tree, any uh, piece of software which will enable you to uh, maintain the versions. I hope this video is pretty useful and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to QA Insights for more such uh, tutorials. Thank you. Have a great day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.